Yeah, used to want to be a superhero, flying around with a cape and some bad guys And I'm ahead underwater, but I ain't in the shower and I ain't getting baptized To the good and the bad times, all the cuts broken bones from the black eyes Young motherfucker with a mad mind, made a couple million off a rap line How's it going, everybody? I'm back out on the ice today. Ran up into the woods over here behind me for a minute. There's a guy uh, looking for a dog, so figured I'd go help. Heard him calling and got the dog back, so now we're on our way back to the tent. I'm out here again looking for some rainbow trout, possibly some char. Got some new jigs, um, some different bait, and I got a couple new tools that I built last night. A couple of DIY jaw jackers. If you're interested in that, you can stay tuned in this video. We're going to test them out, see how they work. And if you're interested in how I built them, you can go check out my last video on the channel. Let's get on inside the tent today and see what we can find. I got the propane heater going. Got my two Shakespeare 36 inch ice fishing jigging rods over here. I've got a couple of holes drilled. I've got the Garmin Striker 4 sitting in that center hole today sitting in about 10 and a half feet of water. The water temperature is actually considerably warmer than it was in my last video. It's about 40 degrees today, um, as opposed to 33 and a half. Um, I already got a couple blips coming across. Uh, just skimmed the top of the weeds down there on the bottom, but I've had pretty good luck here. About midway through the water column, uh, about five to six feet with some pretty big rainbow trout. So I've got a couple new lures and jigs today. I picked up a couple of these Nice heavy jig hooks. They're gonna be 1.8 gram or 1 16th ounce jig hooks. And I got some of these little white grubs here. So we're gonna give that a try. I've got my DIY jaw jacker here. And I actually built two of these, but I'm just using the one today. So we're gonna get this rigged up with some shrimp and I'll probably dangle this down probably about five or six feet in the water column, maybe down at the bottom. We'll give it a try. Um, and we're gonna see how this thing works. I'm pretty excited to use this today See if it is a uh, good DIY if you're interested in checking this out Like I said a second ago, you can go back to my channel I did a DIY video on how I built this and hopefully in this video. We're gonna see if it works or not And we'll set the line right through there Hopefully something will come along and grab that shrimp and it'll set this jaw jacker off. It looks like there might be something down there right now, so I should probably move my face so I don't get whacked right in the eye. I'm not sure exactly how this thing is going to work and it's kind of terrifying to be honest with you. <laughs> trout that I was just looking at. That's the first fish of the day. That would be excellent. It's a nice fish. There we go. That feels like a pretty good fish. There we go. All right, first fish of the day on that little white grub. I was hoping to get the first fish of the day on my uh, DIY jaw jacker, but that's okay. Always nice to get the first fish of the day, and that's a pretty good size one. It's bigger than anything I caught in my last video, so we're already off to a good start. Get this guy back in the hole. There he goes. All right. On the board for the day. All right, well, we got the first fish of the day, so now I'm gonna figure out why this isn't working. And I almost think, looking at the triggering mechanism here, it looks like when I was bending this with my pliers, I might've marked that up and there's a little groove there. And I think that might actually be the reason that it's not releasing. I think it's kind of 
trapping the end of the rod in there. But this one here, this is the trigger mechanism off that second one I made and it's a whole lot smoother. So I'm gonna throw some shrimp back on here and drop it down and we're gonna see if we can get this thing to work. Right, shrimp is going down. Let's see what happens. We're gonna pull all the slack out of this thing and that way something grabs it, it immediately will set it off, hopefully. Now we wait. Something is definitely playing with it down there. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> a little bit more fine tuning and I think we'll have it down, but there's another fish and technically I got it on the automatic hook setter. So I'm gonna say that that's at least one success. That's a nice little rainbow trout. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy released back down the hole and we're gonna rig this thing up again and see if we can get it to work without me pop in the line by hand because that kind of defeats the purpose come here buddy nice you know i wonder if adding a little bit more weight to this will actually help the line sit a little bit more straight with no slack and that might actually be the last little bit of um, force that we need because I think the slack is what's kind of causing it to hang up. Um, if you think about it, all that slack gives the fish room to run. But with these trout, they just kind of gum it for a second and then they let go. So it doesn't give it very much time for it to set off before they've already released it. So let's put a little bit more weight on there and see if that does anything. Thinking we might be onto something here. Yo, but... Let's say it again, if you end up building one of these things, it's not the safest um, idea to have your face over it. And you always want to make sure that um, if you have a hook on the line while you're setting it, the hook is either down inside the hole or you have enough slack out to where if this thing pops and you're not expecting it, it's not going to fling that hook all over inside your tent and possibly take an eye out or something like that. All right, I think we're gonna have luck this time. Let's drop it down there. That's quite a bit of weight, so I'm gonna hold this up until I feel it hit bottom. There it is. Pull the slack out, and let's see what happens. There it goes. There it goes. All right, that <laughs> is a success. Nice. This guy's trying to run on me. I'm going to give him a little bit of little bit of run that way we don't lose him because I don't know how good the hook set actually was. So let him tire out for a little bit before we pull him up and we'll take a look and see how we did. That's not a bad hook set. It went all the way through, so that thing had some force coming up, so that's a good sign. Let's get it out of the uh, out of the fish here real quick. All right, now I think we're getting somewhere. I think uh, it's just gonna be a combination of having enough weight on and keeping the slack out of the line. And I think that is gonna be the key. 
and for all you guys that were uh, wondering if the DIY jaw jacker works, there's your proof. It definitely works. Might not work as well as the name brand, but with a little fine tuning and commitment, it works just fine. I think the trick is, is uh, besides having the correct amount of weight and the correct amount of slack is just making sure that your triggering mechanism is, uh, you know, up to par. It took me a couple times of trying to figure out this trigger mechanism to get it right because like I said um, in the DIY video, it all depends on the length and um, the weight of the rod. So that's gonna affect how long the actual unit itself is and how you have to design the trigger mechanism. All right, shrimp is going down. We're gonna pull all the slack out of it, nice and tight, and then set it on there just like that. And it looks like we already have a fish on. There we go. Awesome. And it feels like we got another good hook set. Man, this is definitely exciting. I'm pretty pleased with this. This one might be a little bit better than that last one. He's taking quite a bit of line on me. Oh yeah, that's not a bad fish at all. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely a good fish. Yeah, and that's a really good hook set. That went right through the gill plate, right in the corner of his mouth there. That's a nice fish. Let's get that guy unhooked. Well, I was gonna play with my jigging rod because I didn't expect them to be lighting up the shrimp over here. And I was having a little bit of trouble using this when I first got here, but uh, <laughs> there isn't even really enough time for me to get my jigging rod set up in between this thing going off, it looks like. Well, that's okay. It's kind of fun. See if we can get a couple more on this and then uh, maybe I'll start playing with the jigging rod. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, I'ma be here for a while Longer than I did expect to I was out of town Getting lost till I was rescued Now I'm in the clouds Come down when I run out of jet fuel But I never run out of jet fuel Well, I'ma be here for a while Let's see what happens I think something might have already grabbed it Yep, there we go Look at that Ah, oh, he came off though Did he? No, he didn't come off. That's weird. <laughs> he just took a whole bunch of line out on me, I guess. That's definitely not the 20 plus we were looking for, but it's another fish. Look at that line through his gill plate. There we go. On the jigging rod today, I've got one of these little 1 16th ounce jigging heads here. They're glow in the dark and they've got these little eyeballs on them. Um, and then I've got it tipped with a two inch white grub. I've had pretty good luck with this setup, so we're gonna drop it down um, in our second hole while that one just kind of hangs over there and we're gonna see what happens. All right, it looks like something's already coming along on the sonar there. I imagine it's probably not gonna take long. Oh, there's all kind of stuff down there now. See if we can get something to hit this. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh. oh well, this is uh, my hole from the previous day that apparently isn't frozen. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, interesting. Let's try that again it looks like something might be on the tip up there i 
Yeah, it's just a little guy. Is that a salmon? Looks like it. Yeah, it's a little stock, stocky king salmon. The cool thing about these salmon is they're nice and still for, for photos. <laughs> they don't flop around too much once you get them out. All right. Well, let's uh, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute, I think, and I'm gonna jig with this rod over here. Give it just a little wiggle so that tail kind of undulates down there and hopefully that'll entice them to grab it. Yeah, he keeps taking passes at it and he's just kind of headbutting it, but it doesn't seem to want to grab it. Oh, man. There we go. The fish are definitely quick in here today though. They're just kind of flying in from the side. Usually you kind of see them show up on the sonar before they actually strike, but today they just kind of show up all at once before you realize they're there. That feels like a decent fish. Might give him some drag. I don't think that's gonna be quite the 20 that I'm looking for, but that's definitely probably gonna be one of the better ones I've pulled out today if I can actually get them up here. There we go. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's probably, yeah, maybe just a little bit over 12 inches. That's not a bad fish at all. I make sure the GoPro is still going for that one. I think that's the uh, biggest one that I've caught today. So definitely pretty pleased with that. Mr. Trout says that it's time to go, so we're going to let him go. There we go. Nice. And that's exciting. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. With that last fish, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for the night. It's starting to cool off and it's getting later on in the evening. I think I'm going to go home and make myself some dinner. It's always nice being able to just come out and enjoy everything Alaska has to offer to you. It's been a great day out here on the ice. Probably one of my best so far, I think. Thank you guys for coming along with me again today. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I'll see you on the next one.